Hey guys, Paradox here, and I'm back on Dual Network. So today I'm continuing my three-part uh, deck set with theory for Steven Universe. Um, this one's called The Lost Gems. So last time we talked about in the show how I theorize that possibly... <coughs> Well, I mean, not possibly. There were definitely, at one point, hundreds of gems, and there was likely some kind of war or some sort that may have caused them to kind of, in a way, die out. Enough. And now I'm going to go into more detail on that. So, what was this war about? Well, another thing I have is, all of the monsters they fight always drop a gem, right? So I think that when a gem becomes, like, kind of evilish and does bad things, uh, it is possible that maybe they get so bad they turn into one of these monsters. And that's what the war was against. And that is why uh, there are only the three left. Because there's no um, other gems who have not become evil. Or weren't killed already by fighting the monsters. And that is kind of shown in this deck, I think. But, you know... Not really. Um, anything too amazing. meant to set this. Now, one thing I don't like about the Crystal Beast, per se, is that for their effect to send them to a spell and trap card zone to work, they have to be face up. I just think that's kind of stupid. I'd actually like to see, um, I might do this even, a Crystal Beast deck versus an Artifact deck. That would be interesting, because you know how they work, because the Artifacts have to start down here, then they go up here, but the Crystal Beasts are the other way around, that would be cool. Just gotta wait for them to raise. All right, I guess that's. Mm. I like how they added flip as like an actual thing up here. Flip. Okay, need to return it to the hand. Um. would put more creativity into their decks like not that I'm not not that I'm saying people's decks aren't good they are but the problem is they're not they don't really need to put any effort into it so 
Um. And they quit because I'm telling them a simple rule that nobody seems to like following. Actually, why don't I show you the deck? Then I can explain how, how it kind of shows my little theory. But, um, so we've got one of each crystal beast as required for Rainbow Dragon, which we have two of. Um, then we've got a Chronomaly Crystal Skull. These guys are really just deck fillers. We've got seven different dark beast that kind of match with these guys. A malefic and a dark rainbow dragon. Then we've got two crystal abundance, two crystal beacon, one blessing, one promise, one release, one tree, one ancient city, one dark hole, two crystal counter, three crystal pair, three crystal red check high, one rainbow gravity, one rainbow path. So, let's go into the theory bit before we explain how the deck runs, because... So, we've got all seven of the Crystal Beasts, which match up with all seven of the Dark guys here. So, I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. We've got good version, evil version, good version, evil version, good version, evil version. You get it. I couldn't find a turtle that's dark. It just keeps going, and they help me, so, good, evil, good, evil, plus they help me get out this, because I didn't use the other field spell, but, um, so yeah, that's really it, uh, how the deck works is kind of how any other deck works, you try to get all of these guys on the field or graveyard, so you can get your rainbow dragon out, and... These guys are to get out Dark Rainbow Dragon. And that's it. So we'll try one more play and see if we can kind of get someone who doesn't quit at the slightest show of following a rule. Oh, vi oh I thought this said very. I'm like, very. What kind of name is very? What's that spell? Voy? I don't know. Hmm. Alright, looks like we already have a Malefic. That's good, but we need a field spell. I suppose you kind of are useless, so... Why is he doing... I'm, I don't understand why you, like... Weird. Alright. Anyway. 
I'm probably gonna just end there. Got a dark hole. Gonna do that, probably. Let me just see it. Yep. Where do you see anything here that says negate the attack? It says when the opponent monster declares an attack, destroy all spell and trap cards on the field. That does not have anything to do with stopping my attack. This guy is just crazy. First of all, why do people always spell what like that? Like, I don't care if it's... And he's quitting because his card does not do what he thinks it does. Mm-hmm. Well, we still got time to try again. Assuming this is gonna... Ah, okay.
Why would you be... Cool. Usually not the uh, smartest thing to do that. Good thing this is not a counter trap. Okay, it is not the first round of the duel. But there are cards on the field. Hmm, I suppose he does have good attack. Does he, like, <laughs> all right? I have a feeling that he might be a f either very young or a first timer, but that's okay. Help him get better at the game. And that would be good. Ooh. Too bad you cannot use his effect right now. He was like good try and all, but also, I don't know why he sent this to the graveyard, but to be or higher. Yeah. Okay, why would he... That's not how this works. Damage. I don't even know why he did that. It made no sense. Anyway. Why is he... 
I'm so confused. people that just want to mess around with you and do whatever they want. It's so annoying. So, challenge. Make the deck better. Like always, um, the theme this time is obvious. Um, it's clearly Archfiends. I mean, not really. You all know it's Crystal Beast. Try to include both Malefic and Dark Rainbow Dragon in it, if you can, but go for at least one of them. And, and that's really all I want you to do. So, as always, this film was brought to you by Paradox Productions, and I'll see you guys next time.